What do you remember from coming to this neighbourhood in 1994? The night before the game, um, said to Phil Donner, I was up in the fire service at that time and unfortunately had a bit of an incident on the, the week before a car bomb with a, a police officer and you know, I felt a wee bit, you know, sort of the pressure of the match and just went, I need to go and get my head short. I went down to the Ferret and Firkin, because we were staying in Chelsea Harbour, thinking, nice wee quad pint night before. There was about 400 Irish supporters in and the whole Irish selection team, and you just oh. went, right, not a good idea. <laughs> and then, are you staying for a pint? And I went, well, I'm 29, I'm going to be 30 next week. Yeah, I'm going to have a pint. End up with about three or four pints. Went to bed, woke up the next day, feeling good night's sleep, excellent, let's get to Twickenham. Went into Twickenham and Ken O'Connell was warming up. He says, run at me, lad, run at me. Lad. Give, us a, give a hit. So I went and ran at Ken. Went to, he ran at me, sorry. Went to tackle him. Thought I bust my shoulder. I just thought, oh, imagine getting injured in the warm-up. But uh, no, it was a brilliant experience. Um, just remember the whole thing. Remember Simon scoring in the corner. The opportunities that we, we didn't take. Um, but more importantly, getting up there and, you know, the win. 13-12. The and... You know, we proved back-to-back wins from the, the Dublin one the year previous. You mentioned there the week that you had leading into that game in Twickenham. I've heard you say in interviews before that it, when people ask you, were you nervous before your first Ireland cap? You were like, how could I possibly be nervous given the stuff I've seen just a few days earlier? Yeah, it's to me, rugby was the release. Um, fire service, you see a lot of tragedy, you see a lot of pain, you see a lot of hurt in people's faces. And uh, at that time, the troubles were still on board and it was very much you'd be in the wrong place at the wrong time in Belfast or anywhere in Northern Ireland and uh, and indeed Dublin and you know you could get caught up in something that you'd no, you had no impact upon so you had that daily stress upon you um, going to work and for me rugby was a massive release it's just you know good way of getting venting the, the anger and all the, the pain and the hurt out of it and to say just playing at Twickenham was another level up it was, to me it was another rugby day I was 29 years of age going to be 30 the following week and just went you're not a child so deal with it just get on it's a remarkable mindset so what, what happened it, it, there was a car bomb that claimed at least one life that week yeah, it was a, a police sergeant yes and uh, unfortunately we were left to, to take the remains out of the car and put it into body bags and give to the um, give to the, the homeless people was that a particularly tough week was that par for the course in 94 for you it's just Belfast at the time say wrong place wrong time for a lot of people and the, the way people got through it was through sport some people got through it through drinking some people got through it through whatever but um, my out was playing rugby and just venting training hard playing hard play hard train hard party hard can i ask you why did you choose to work in the fire service it, um, back in the day it was it was a great vocation there was also you know it, there was that attraction to danger that slight element of risk I mean, you have to be slightly twisted in your head to run in a building so far that people are running out of, you know, so there, there is that slight element that you're a bit psychotic in, in a way. Um, I don't know, different things like road traffic accidents, airplanes coming down, ship fires, chemical incidents, farming incidents, all these different things. Very attractive to, you know, somebody that was active. Um, rugby, very much an active player, very much in the team environment, and the fire service was covering each other, both on and off the pitch.